had a <laughs> talk show uh, call after I got a, a letter published in the New York Times suggesting what I just did of uh, the Oxycontin manufacturers splitting the costs of detox. The uh, really a right wing <clears throat> corporate hugging <laughs> talk show host that, oh, take away from the bottom line of industry? You've got to be kidding. The wings. No, oh, I remember how 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 fearful, appropriately fearful, I was when <clears throat> I was attending a Tim Leary um, presentation, and he was really working the crowd and getting them very enthusiastic and saying, "Tune in, turn on, and drop out." And I'm thinking, "Oh." You're in for big trouble, buddy. <laughs> As a result, I never permitted my photograph to be taken with him. Long as and you report to me is uh, working. Yes, I, I concur, and it's okay medically. You have the blessing of the the secular priest. This is important. Many people really would like to look to the physician for this kind of tutelage and leadership. And I'm just so pleased with my relationship with re relationships with my patients as a, an ally and a uh, coach rather than a, a uh, father figure or parental unit for them to run their transference numbers on. <laughs> and it's not like being a script doc for some addictive drug, uh, like some benzodiazepine or something like that. Uh, it's not like having, uh, uh, giving people medicines with bad side effects that they will tolerate because they want to get better.